Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, does television watching cause antisocial personality disorder? So this is an interesting question submitted by a subscriber. And to answer this question, I'm going to use an article that was published in 2013, written by Robertson and colleagues. And this particular study had a large sample size from New Zealand, almost a thousand participants. And it was a longitudinal study. It took place over 26 years. So the findings of this research study indicated that increased television watching in childhood and adolescence was associated with an increased likelihood of having antisocial behaviors and personality traits in adulthood. So we could think of these antisocial behaviors and personality traits as antisocial outcomes. And in this study, they were measured through criminal convictions, a diagnosis of antisocial personality disorder, and personality traits associated with antisocial behavior. This study also found that increased television watching was associated with a decrease in positive emotionality. So a few different negative consequences were linked here with television watching. The effect of television watching stayed in place even after the researchers accounted for other variables that may explain the antisocial behavior. For example, IQ, socioeconomic status, early antisocial behavior, and a construct called parental control. So we have a large sample size over a long period of time and fairly solid methodology, methodology that controlled for a lot of other variables and yet still found this link between television watching and antisocial behavior. So the question becomes, what's happening here? Why was this association, why was this link identified? Well, there are a number of possible explanations. It's important to keep in mind at the onset, though, that the content of the television programs was not observed as part of the study. So it's assumed that violent content in the television programming caused this association to occur. But that may not necessarily be true because, again, they don't know what the content was. So some of the possible explanations for these findings include observational learning. So the children and adolescents watched television and they learned from that and that influenced their personality and their behavior. Emotional desensitization. So under this theory, the television programming desensitized the children and adolescents, and it created a difficulty with emotional processing. Another theory is that the aggressive behavior simply became normalized for the participants. They watched so much television, they saw so much aggressive behavior, that their belief system formed to believe that aggressive behavior was normal. So these three possible explanations all presume that there's violent content in television programming. As I mentioned, the researchers aren't sure about the level of violent content in the programming. So they offered other possible explanations that could be reasonable as well. Like that television watching is associated with other factors that could lead to antisocial behavior. Like low educational achievement, and an increased risk for unemployment. And still another theory is because this is just a correlation, just an association between two variables, it could be that antisocial behavior or a predisposition for antisocial behavior or a predisposition for antisocial personality traits causes increased television watching. This is about correlation after all, the study, and not about causation. The causation is inferred, but we don't know for sure. So what can we take away from a study like this? What does this tell us about the etiology of antisocial personality disorder, and how does this inform clinical practice? Well, the research methodology here, as I mentioned, was fairly solid. So I think it's reasonable to be concerned about this link between increased levels of television watching and an increased likelihood of demonstrating antisocial behavior or having antisocial personality traits. The study discusses a recommendation that children shouldn't watch more than one to two hours of television programming a day, and really indicates that anything more than that could be problematic. One particularly concerning finding related to this in the study is that each additional hour of television viewing that you add per day 
increases the risk of a criminal conviction by 30 percent. So when considering the value of television watching, it makes sense to weigh the possible consequences as well. I hope you found this description of television watching and antisocial behavior and personality traits to be interesting. Thanks for watching.